Over the past two months, this faceless YouTube channel has amassed more than $155,000 by posting straightforward motivational videos. A closer look reveals that the channel was launched just five or six months ago. Its second video, with over 1 million views, is remarkably successful. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can create your own automated YouTube channel without hiring a single employee. I've discovered a few AI tools that can automate the entire process. To prove this, here's a brief clip of a video I created in 15 minutes that outperformed Stoic Bond's video, which garnered over 1 million views. In the ancient halls of wisdom, amidst the whispers of timeless philosophers, lies a path known to the wise. A path there are five steps to make the video, and I'll also share a final tip learned from managing several faceless YouTube channels. This tip is usually part of expensive courses, so pay attention. First, we need an idea and a script. I suggest starting by using ideas that have already worked. This means getting ideas from YouTube videos that are already popular. For example, I'll use the same idea as a video with 1 million views, which is 7 things you should do every morning. To write the script, we'll use the best AI tool available, ChatGPT, preferably ChatGPT4 for the best results, but the version doesn't really matter. Open a new chat. I've made a perfect prompt that will give you a script just right for the style of these stoicism channels. It's quite long, so I'll just paste it in the description. But what you need to do is change this part here to insert your own topic for the video. Then the script will be written to match that. Now, let's send the prompt since I've already written my topic. As you can see, it creates the whole script with an ancient and wise tone, which is perfect for stoicism channels. The most exciting part is that this prompt mentions wise figures like Marcus Aurelius, which improves the content a lot. Remember this when making your videos. Try to write a script that's about 1,500 to 1,600 words long, as this will be around 8 minutes. This is really important because you'll earn more money per 1,000 views for longer videos. Now that we have our script draft, it's time for, for the next part of my plan, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Your engagement helps me a lot. Instead of spending a lot on a voiceover artist, I've found excellent AI text-to-speech software with the perfect tone and sound. The website is called 11 Labs, so just sign up. To get a free account, go to the voice library. There, you can listen to samples of different voices to hear how they sound. We all know that regular exercise is good for the bot. A failure is a man who has blundered. But the voice that will be perfect for these videos is called Marcus. It has an authoritative and deep tone. Let's listen. Let us you. always meet each other with smile, for the smile is the beginning of love. All right. That's all set. Normally, you would click on Add to Voice Lab, but I've already taken care of that, so you'll find yourself on that page once you're in the Voice Lab. Just click on Use, and it'll redirect you to another page. You don't need to make any adjustments here, so I'll go ahead and paste my script and then click on Generate. It will start generating the voiceover, which you'll hear in small snippet. Give it some time to create the entire voiceover. Once it's finished, Simply click on the little download button. It's time for creating the visual content I'm going to be using Leonardo AI. Let's start by revisiting our chat with GPT and requesting some visuals for this story. Specifically, let's craft a prompt for generating 10 text prompts for Leonardo AI. These prompts should use black and white colors and feature renowned stoic writers in the form of sculptures placed at the center of each picture. To use Leonardo AI, simply sign up for an account, link provided in the description. They offer 150 free credits per day, which is more than sufficient for our needs. So, now, simply navigate to the image generation section. Choose the photorealistic model, then proceed to chat GPT and paste the initial prompt. Finally, add the additional prompt hyperrealistic at the end of the prompt. This addition significantly enhances the realism of the images. Click on generate, and you will see that the output is of high quality. I'm going to open this to take a closer look, and as you can see, it turned out really well. This is exactly what's great about these AI image generators. I'll close this now and download it. Let me share a neat trick with you. Click on the image guide here. Now, upload the picture we just downloaded. After that, lower the strength to about 20. Go to ChatGPT and paste the script for the next picture. This way, Leonardo AI will try to keep the same style and theme for the image, making it the ultimate hack when you're working on a storyline and want all the images to be very similar. To upscale these images, simply click on each image and hit Alchemy Crisp Upscale in the bottom right corner. Repeat this process and start collecting the images. Copy and paste each one from ChatGPT 
and make sure to add hyperrealistic to each prompt and upscale them after they're generated. Okay, we have our images ready. All right, we've got our images all set up. Now, let's elevate our video by animating these pictures. We'll use Leonardo's built-in animation tool for this. First, head over to your personal feed and click on the image you want to animate. You'll see a button that says bring motion. Simply click on it, set the motion to around 3 to 5, and hit generate. It'll just take a few seconds. Look at that! We now have an animated image in no time. It's amazing to think how just a few years ago, this would have required a professional animator and several hours of work. Now, with AI tools like this, we can animate pictures, write scripts, and create voiceovers within seconds. Repeat this process for all the images, and download them. Just like that, our B-roll footage is ready to go. If you think something is missing, it's because we don't have any music. To find a great track that's free to use on YouTube, go to a website called Pixabay. Search for keywords like ancient or mysterious, and you'll find lots of suggestions. I found one that sounds really good for this video, so go ahead and download it. Now, let's put everything together. You can use any editing software you like, I'll use CapCut. First, create a new project file and choose 16 by 9 as the aspect ratio. Then, import the voiceover we downloaded from Eleven Labs. All the moving pictures, definitely. The music is fine, so, the next thing to do is fix the talking. As you can see, there are lots of breaks. Believe me, if we leave it like that, your video won't get popular. People will just leave. So, to stop that, we need to get rid of all the breaks. To do that, click on the talking track. Now, move your mouse to where the talking stops. Click the split button here to make it quicker. You'll get the cutting tool. You can press Ctrl B or Command B if you're on a Mac. Now, do the same where the sound begins. Now, you have this empty part of the sound. Just click on it and press delete. Finally, click on the talking on the right side and move it over. The break has gone. Now, do the same with all the talking to keep the video very interesting. I'll speed this bit up to keep the video going fast. Please drag all 10 pictures onto the timeline. I'll keep it simple and just add a basic transition between the pictures. To do this, go to Transitions and navigate to the Overlays section. Choose the black fade transition and drag it between the first and second animation. On the right side, set the duration to 0.3. Next, below this setting, click Apply to All. The transition has now been applied to all the files. You might be wondering, the audio is much longer than the visuals we have. What should we do? Well, let's loop the file. Nobody's going to know anyway, but I'll get back to it later, don't worry. Let's make the video look better by adding some effect. In the editing software, go to the retro section and find the noise 2 effect. Drag it onto the timeline and adjust it to around 30. Now, let's adjust the colors. Click on adjustment and add a new element to cover the whole project. Scroll down and find vignette. Increase it to around 15. Set brightness to minus 2 and increase the saturation slightly. In the filters panel, search for black forest. Set it to around 50 or how you like it. To loop the video, select all the visual parts except the voiceover or music. Right click and create a compound clip. Copy and paste this clip until it fits the length of the voiceover. Use the same black fade transition between the new clips. Okay, everyone, stay with me. We just need to adjust some audio settings to add captions, do some exporting, and then we'll be ready to launch our channel. Setting up the audio is easy. Select all the voice files at once and on the right side, change their volume to 2.5. Done. Now, do the same with the music, setting it to around minus 17, but make sure to listen through as it depends on how loud the actual song is. Next, let's add the captions. Go to the text and click on Auto Captions. After a few moments, the captions will be generated. Now, simply choose one of the templates on the right side. I'll go with this one. Okay, now adjust the captions in the middle of the screen. Then, click on Basic, choose the font you want, and change the color of the text as you like. Now, we're ready to export. Just click on Export, choose 60 FPS and 1080p, and wait a few minutes. Now, let's take a look at the final product.
In the ancient halls of wisdom, amidst the whispers of timeless philosophers, lies a path known to the wise, a path of inner strength and unyielding resolve. Stoicism, born from the fiery crucible of ancient minds, offers us not just a philosophy, but a way of life, an unwavering guide through the turbulent seas of existence. Let us embark on this journey together, as seekers of truth and masters of our own destiny. Embrace the dawn, as the first light breaks the darkness, we too must embrace the dawn of each new day. Marcus Aurelius, the revered Stoic Emperor, reminds us that when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Start your day with this thought, for it sets the tone for the hours to come. Confront your fears. Seneca, the great Stoic sage, teaches us to confront our fears head on. Each morning reflect on what you fear most. By facing these fears in our minds, we weaken their hold over us. As Seneca said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Practice gratitude. In the silence of the morning before the world awakens, take a moment to practice gratitude. Epictetus, the stoic slave turned philosopher, reminds us that he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Be grateful for the simple blessings of life, for the air in your lungs, the beat of your heart, and the warmth of the sun. Seek virtue, not pleasure. The Stoics teach us that true happiness lies not in the pursuit of pleasure, but in the cultivation of virtue. Each morning, remind yourself of the virtues you seek to embody, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. As Epictetus wrote, cultivate these virtues with care and diligence, for they alone can bring true and lasting fulfillment.